Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStudio.com and today we have the Nexus 5 with us and we have got the latest Android update which has been pushed for this device. And again, with this update, Google has actually fixed some of the camera related things on this device. So the camera on the Google Nexus 5 is an 8 megapixel camera and again the photo quality when it comes to the daylight photos is pretty good on this device but when it comes to low light or little bit less amount of light or even artificial light the photos does not come out to be very good uh, as we have noticed and we have taken some shots before as well before this update actually arrived onto this phone so that we can compare it later because we already knew that google will definitely push an update to enhance the camera on this device and again apart from the camera there are some other bug fixes as well which has been made uh, into the newer update so that there are some software related fixes over there and there are some other uh, bug fix within the operating system itself so again that is a kind of a minor thing because you won't notice them but camera is something which they have actually fixed and let's see how does that actually uh, has got changed so first of all let me just show you the version of android this device is running as of now before this it this was running android uh, the basically the Android 4.4 4, that was the KitKat and now it is running uh, the version of Android which is 4.4.2 so now it has been upgraded from 4.4 to 4.4.2 and again this is a minor upgrade so there are not major fixes within this update and let's take a look how the camera interface has been enhanced or changed so in terms of the UI the camera interface remains the same uh, you have the same kind of options over here and we have taken a shot right now with this cam new camera interface and this is the shot which we have taken of my iPhone 5 as of now and we have taken this shot uh, in some indoor room with some artificial amount of light and as you can see the photo is looking pretty good in terms of the clarity as well as in terms of the colors I would say so details as well as the colors reproduction on this device if you actually compare it with the original object over here is actually pretty good and let me just show you the same so this is how the actual object actually looks like and this is how it is actually looking like in this photo after this update and we have also taken the photo of this device only again in the same mode uh, before this update so let me just show you that as well so this is the previous photo which we have taken again this photo is not too good in terms of the clarity that is something i have noticed but again the difference in between these two photos which we have clicked one before the update and one after the update the difference is not much to notice but again there is a difference if you actually take a closer look you will notice the difference in the kind of color saturation or the color reproduction levels which we see in both of these photos i would say this photo is little bit more colorful in terms of the color reproduction and it is slightly better in terms of colors as well as in terms of the details as compared to the previous photo but again this difference is not much unless you take a very closer look unless you zoom both of the photos which you have taken before this update and after this update only then you will be able to uh, basically judge on the kind of quality the camera is actually providing apart from that the camera interface remains the same the camera shutter speed remains the same everything remains the same and in terms of the photo quality the camera is slightly enhanced in terms of the color production level as well as in terms of the details it will capture especially in low light so the daylight performance of the camera is already good so there will be not a major difference in terms of the daylight photo which you will notice after this update but uh, when it comes to the low light photos especially for the macro photos you will notice the difference once you once you take the photo now from this device and again this difference is not a major difference but there is a difference so that's all from us as far as the full review or the kind of change which we have seen after the 4.2 4.4.2 update on the google nexus 5 do let us know if you have any specific questions do let us know if you have noticed anything after this update on your nexus 5 which we might have missed or which could be important for other people out there 
please let us know about that and you can leave that uh, leave a comment about that through the comment section below do let us know if you have any other questions rela related to this device we are also going to publish the full review of this device very soon so do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is Abhishek signing off Thank you.